Hello, welcome back. We are back in the ancient tomb uh, because we have unfinished business here. Tartuccio is probably not in here. Uh, the depressed dwarf is probably not in here either. Maybe something is Over actually there. in here. Ooh, look at that. Oh. How curious. Wait. Oh, we're gonna sell that. That's worth something. I won't be halted. This requires your attention. Okay. Yo, with the trap. Anything else? Yeah, get the stuff. Um. Sure. We do it my way. Okay. Let's go out the other way this time. We can go for a long fight, at least at this point. We have to be very careful. And we probably gotta find a place. We can go that way. Did I go this way? What is that? We don't know. Did I just do some camping action? I don't think that matters. I think that's just a uh, camp location. An odd one. Oh boy. Did I try to avoid enemies? I don't know. <laughs> oh, drinking a potion is a move. Is a move action. Interesting. Unworthy. <laughs> Take him out. Peace. What troubles you? Yes. Really? Is the best feel he got? I might as well use it right now because it's completely useless in a in a fight. Let's move it's too slow. Okay. Do we have some uh, healing potions we picked up? Not a lot. One of them. So much crap. So much crap, but nothing really good. I am yours to command. Okay. Make Miri drink red potion. Right. Perfect. I've been taught if someone I'm annoys you, you either play or polish your armor. It is why my armor gleams as and it Lipsy does. was called forth. Okay. All right, lizard. I'm taking your stuff. Is that it? Just one lizard? I won't be halted. All right, I don't want to rest just because of that. Let's go. Hmm. So we don't really know the land. We just have to explore quite a bit. We didn't really expect this to be um be like this whatsoever. Angberry Cave. Oh yeah, we can go toward Fangberry Cave. Nettles Crossing. That, that's probably where we need to go next, right? Maybe this is the easier location. I'm hungry. When we stop. Wait, you're hungry? We're fatigued? 
Come on! Olex Trading Post? Guess we can go there and rest again. I can have two guards. How do I distribute the guys over here? Do I need to check the hotkeys? Is that like a camp hotkey set uh, thingy? I don't know. I don't think so. Sure. Let just um takes time to restore companions to full health by resting. Sure, do it. Begin resting. I don't care about the full health. I care about. Uh, being rested. Okay. So, yeah. We are rested now. And leave that. Over here. Slide the our horse. Oh, that's straight. Not quite what I expected. No! I didn't realize that you, they can also attack me when I'm traveling back. Well, okay. You cannot stand against me. Holy shit. That seems like a... Uh, time we should run away. I don't Seriously, think we can run away. Right. Sunder armor? This, this is just hopeless. No way. Zero chance. Zero chance. I hit that earth elemental for 11. And it did no damage. Absorbed the whole thing. Oh boy. Wait, what? I'm spamming quick save! I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of this, uh... Wow, really? Um... Grid-based? I don't know if I should call it grid-based, but like, more limited system. We still can't do anything with the Fangberry Cave. I'm hungry. When we stop. And we are... Hungry already. <clears throat> I do have the option to fast travel to locations I already explored. And that would, uh, I, I assume, or maybe incorrectly so, uh, eliminate the, the chance of me getting attacked. I won't be halted. Sing a song for us. Oh, I don't like it. This me. Seriously? What the fuck is that? I what? Survive. I'm miserable. I always survive. Chapter. There's no chance that they survive this. Get out. You got this. They're blind. They're perpetually blind. 
Can you just kill everybody, Jetta? That would be great. We only have one guy who's dealing damage. That's good. Heal me quickly. This is not the end. So if you could somehow take that guy out without getting blinded, like everybody else, that would be great. But realistically, that's not gonna happen. Oh. Do you believe in you, Jetta? Wait, what? This body holds no what? More. Screw that! <laughs> oh boy. I need those disables as well. I need some kind of crowd control because I can't deal with these guys. I have ways to deal damage, but I don't have ways to deal with crowds. Come on. Maybe we should try to avoid these encounters every single time. <laughs> because we can't deal with them. The game is just so damn hard. Maybe we just gotta go with normal. Because even on challenging, like in most games, like challenging would be like it's it's like pathetically easy. But challenging here is very much so challenging. So I'm like, what the fuck was that? Serves me right. Stop summoning garbage. Can you just get the summoner. Out of my way. Protect me. This body holds no. Oh no. No sneak attacks. Let us strike as one. Oh, okay. Look at this. One fight. And we can go and rest already. It's bad. I'm hungry. When we stop. I don't know. I will grant your request. I think we gotta stop. And take a nap. One fight! One bloody fight. I require rest. I just have to I avoid the fights be because apparently this is a uh, a uh, time-sensitive mission. And I don't get a lot of stuff for these fights anyway. Okay. I just feel like we, we have so many uh, uh, kind of pointless fights at this point. That I would rather uh, just not deal with those. I know it takes time to restore the companions to full health. I don't have a choice, though. Okay, we are at full health. Maybe I should get some rations. Okay, if uh, if a bunch of uh, enemies want to attack me, I'm just gonna say no thanks. Handles crossing. Okay, it connects. Maybe it connects as well. Do you want to enter this location? You know what? Let's do it. Let's get into Net Nettles Crossing. And uh, we still have a lot of other stuff to explore. You can use a character's portrait as a target spell. Hmm. What spells? <laughs> oh, damn. Mages do start out pretty pathetically weak. I won't be halted. Okay, what's going on here? How curious. Oh, the perception is helping us. 
Maybe we can we do it buy something way. good. Oh. Burn down. I'm listening. A dozen years ago. Uh, that's not my fault. Can only walk around now. Onwards. So, oh yeah, the bridge. Oh what? The corpse's face is bloated from being so long in the water. The stench from its uh, toothless mouth is so foul that your eyes begin to water. The hand, clenching a sinister-looking spear, is covered with scabs. Suddenly you feel faint, as if a cold, wet hand is placed heavy on top of your head. Wet hair sticks the skin, and trickles of icy cold water run down your face and shirt. A hoarse whisper rises inside your head. There you are. Gentile winces in disgust. Who are you? David Nettle. A storm of bright images uh, flash before your eyes. A long time ago, this person, then a living man, came here from Bravoy, constructed a rope bridge, built a house and lived in it, collecting payment uh, from those uh, who crossed the river. How did you die? You see a vision of a lovely uh, spring day. Sunbeams shine warm against your cheeks. Three men approach the house by the bridge, one of them wearing uh, an antlered helm, the Stag Lord. Angry faces, quarrel, the glint of uh, an unsheathed sword. Suddenly, the Stag Lord's greedy eyes are twisted by surprise. The master of the house has unleashed his hounds. No way! How many doggies you had? Burning smell stirs you awake to the sound of a uh, Loud barking. Flames are crackling up the walls. The sound of breaking glass, the bitter cold night air. You're outside. Outside the house, and something is wrong. An arrow strikes deep in your shoulder. You hear the guffaw of ten throats. Run, already in the middle of the bridge. The man in the antlered helm cuts one of the ropes. A near splitting scream fills the air. What do you want from me? You see a vision of a man wearing an antlered helm. Come on! Stop sending me images of Mr. Goatman! No! <clears throat> Don't you hate it when someone asks you to do something you were going to do anyway? It makes me want to do nothing, just to spite them. Oh, yes! Nah, it's uh, I actually don't mind it whatsoever. You just pretend that you were not going to do that thing uh, that you were gonna do anyway, and just uh, cash in on it. Like this stag man, Mr. Goat guy. He is such an unpopular fella that we're just gonna get paid by everybody to take him out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess this zombie is gonna sign up to the list. Can you kill the stag lord yourself? I refuse to help you on principle. You shouldn't have messed with my head. <laughs> God damn it. That's just childish. Can't you kill the stag lord yourself? <laughs> you see the stag lord and his cutthroats trying to build a new bridge here, then running madly away from the rotting monster. The stag lord has avoided this place ever since. Nice stick, Mr. Zombie Man. Why must I be the one who does it? You feel invisible fingers, cold as stone, draw aside a wet strand of hair from your forehead. Stop that! Very well, I shall meet your vengeance upon the goatee man. The drowned man, who been sitting motionless, notes his head. Come later, take the spear. What? I don't want your stick. Oh, 
I guess he's not gonna let me through. Because if I if I try to go now, he's gonna be like, uh oh, you can't go now. Oh fuck, no, never mind that. There's no bridge. <laughs> Alright, you got me, zombie man. So we can go here. It was it was good information to come here and see that uh not only it connects with the uh, freaky dream the zombie sent me, but also uh we can come here. So that's that. Uh we can maybe go back to Oleg's trading post and try to get I don't know what. At least sell our stuff. Get healing potions if he can. I don't know how expensive it is. Because in most games, not only it's usually useless, but also it's uh, too expensive for what it does. So that's that's not a good combo. Trail in the Hills. Sure, check it out. Why not? It's at least a name location. At least has a bit of coin on it. Ooh, clutch and ranged spells can be used to sneak attack. I'm hungry. When we stop, you're hungry already. Come on, what do you expect? Like eating like once every three days? This is stupid. I require rest. Same thing with resting. We rested like a half a week ago. Come I on. Won't be halted. Can we rest here? Resting would be nice. Don't you think? I am superior. Sure. Oh, no part. Keep this up much longer. Avenge me. If one cat takes out the entire team, that would be disappointing. This is not what the, the fuck is that? This can't be over. What the fuck? This makes no sense. At least, at least put some enemy over there that makes any sense. Not a fucking overgrown cat. I'll survive. I look at the survive. look at the chance to hit. This level part has at least like I don't know, like 35 base attack bonus and and I don't know how much armor, like at least 22, 25, something like that. I'm hungry. This when is just stop. stupid. Should I just back it? It it doesn't even show up. This won't kill me. I'll survive. I always survive. It's it's pretty high level because we did 25 damage and and it didn't do anything. So that that's it. I I'll give you that one. But we couldn't have avoided this fight. Because once you get into the fight, there's no running away. I'm pretty sure there's no running away. There's no like, oh crap. Run away now. Because that would help. Oh. We should gather our strength. I, I give you that it would perhaps take away from the sense of danger, but But I don't know. I, I think it would be good so you don't have to progress the game just by like go oh I died, I have to reload. Do it my way. So you can actually uh, continue the story with a loss fight. So we, we just can't deal with that uh, panther on the top of the hill. Oh. Baggy over there. I would hope it's like catnip or whatever. Something that, that's gonna kill, kill this. Oh, we need to identify stuff. That's probably not gonna help too much. I'm hungry. When we stop, 
Come on. Stop with this. I'm hungry. I lead. You follow. So this is the second location we couldn't do a damn thing with. We need to take out Mr. Goatee Man to the... So the bridge zombie builds a bridge again. And we can't take out Mr. Panther here. Uh, the Trail of the Hills. Not gonna happen. We can rest a little bit, so we are not completely screwed. I can also go back to Oleg's trading post, but it takes quite a bit of time. Um, I can just rest. Let's just begin resting. Just to just to get rid of the the fatigue. Okay, let's go on the outside. Ratna kill. Fine, let's go this way. We can go to Ratna kill. I don't know. So we are almost free. Well, not exactly almost free at this point. I don't know. I should check the level. Usually I wouldn't care so much about it, but we're struggling to uh, deal with enemies. And if we could somehow level up or at least get another companion, uh, that would be good. Also, identifying some items could help, but that's, that wouldn't be a big step forward. Actually, we're missing most of uh, level 3. So it's not gonna happen haunted. anytime soon. Rats ate that body. Hmm. What's going on here? My way. What? yourself um. Rickery What the fuck last chapter There's a difference between not being able to uh, disarm the trap I see something and triggering the trap Could Lindsay die from this? Adventures call to that. He might Else? Like, if you know how to disarm the trap, shouldn't you at you least know that? how to not step on it? It's just not my lucky day. Uh oh. I failed. I'm sorry. She's dead. She just goes away. If you. Well. <laughs> I don't know if I can live with that. So that means if you wanna avoid that, you should just uh, heal all the time. But even that is not a guarantee. I see something. I don't know. It's just not my lucky day. Critical hit sixty-two. But that's b just by chance. Just by chance, you lose a character. Like, forever. Ah, I don't know. Where I'm supposed to be going here? Because How even curious. the traps are, are super deadly here. What? Just not my lucky day. A miserable last chapter. That's terrible. I see something. Okay. 
can we just uh, heal? I don't think Adventures I have heals done. anymore. Waiting. Here I I've been told that someone so annoys you, you so either pray or polish your armor. It is why my armor gleams as it does. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go into the cave. Stop screwing around with the traps. I won't be halted. Whoa! Let us fly this one! Uh-oh. Tear them apart! Do not find me. Really? Can you take out their rats? That's free damage? Kill me. This Entire party dead. Okay. So that just tells me that the game probably uh, wants me to explore somewhere else. I won't be. But this is the first look. Uh, this is the third location. Well, I would say that basically every location was like this, but let's just be more lenient. I had to turn down the difficulty to deal with Tartuccio. Because that was like clearly cheating. And I wouldn't be surprised, actually I fully expect we do it my the developers way. to turn down the difficulty eventually. Or I don't know, maybe some expert guys really know how to do it. But it just seems extremely unlikely. Onwards. I see something. Okay. The werewolves are hiding in this cave and we cannot do anything with them. It's it's not really a question of uh Getting slightly better gear, even like level would be. Okay, let's take that. Even level wouldn't help us too much. Like at this point, I think we would need like two levels. I don't really see like one level really doing too much of a difference. Should I just turn turn the difficulty to normal? I don't know. I I don't think this is because of the difficulty. Just the game. Doesn't really want me to go this way. I'm not really messing up. I Am I? Rest. I don't think so. I played a lot of games like this. Okay, we can go through. River and rise. So we can go through the bri uh the river. Okay. Some more. I don't know if I want to enter this location. I guess I do. But how do I know? Because in some games you know because... Uh, like maybe the game is like almost... Uh, should I say this? I, I wouldn't really say it's like grid based. But like in some games like The Witcher, you see like, oh, this area is intended for this level and that area is intended for that level. You see the same thing in WoW. Um, <laughs> I, I, I suppose. Uh. But this is, this is damn hard. And we wouldn't get that Hungry. much stronger. Stop. Oh, look at Brilliant. that! Some friendly faces! Kasten Garrus, the useless uh, uh, guard dude. Greetings! Kasten Garrus, the former captain of Jamandi's Aldori's personal guards, nods to you as though you've seen each other in the rest of only yesterday. He limps noticeably, and his clothes are stained with blood. Looks every bit as grim and focused as when you first met. This time, also sends a hint of excitement inside. I have urgent news from Restop. 
Oh, the boy. investigation that I've conducted at Lady Jamande's orders have proved your innocence. Tartuccio was and still is the Pataxian spy. That dreadful night, it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in. It appears that he had planned to gain the barony and Eldori's support, only to later place these lands under the command of his true patron. King Irovetti is no stranger to intrigue and likes to use others to do his dirty work. Anyway, Lady Jamande sends her apologies. Thank you! I don't know how much you worth, but thank you. Screw Tartuccio. Also, if you want to join up with your boyfriend, that's that that would be great. As a sign of uh, gratitude. Lady Jamande ordered me to capture Tartuccio. We were following his trail when that damned mist fell. First, we entirely lost our way and then stumbled right into a bandit ambush. Alas, nearly all my people were wounded and can go no further. And so I am here asking for your aid. I'll point out on the map where Tartuccio is supposed to be. Bring that scum to Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. Restoff will not forget this favor. Okay. How did he manage to fool you, Mr. Guard Captain Guy? That sly bastard has caused us no little trouble, that's for sure. When he showed up in Restoff and announced he was going to join the expedition, nobody suspected a thing. <laughs> yes, a gnome, yes, a sorcerer, but so what? Even after that terrible night, some of my people were willing to bet money on you being the spy. <laughs> you should have suspected them! I stole their money! <laughs> you can't bet money you don't have! <laughs> That's maybe why they... Uh, had uh, a, a, a low opinion of me. Um, I didn't mean to bring this up. Um, His overconfidence was his downfall. Tartuccio's henchmen, it seems, imagined they could safely meet with Pataxian spies in the town's seedy underbelly. But Restoff is the ancestral home of the Eldori, and Lady Jamandi is respected not only by the aristocracy and the common folk, but also by those on the other side of the law. Really? We received a message from the slums. A good friend, who wished to remain anonymous, suggested the sword lords take a closer look at a certain guest from Patax. Jamande immediately sent for me and ordered me to capture the spy, all very quietly, of course. He told us everything, and not only about Tartuccio. I doubt that Irovetti was pleased to hear of his agent's failure. What the Texan spies hope to find in the Stolen Lands? Tartuccio... Uh, Tartuccio should be the least of your worries. I've met everything out here, and I can tell you... Everything is lethal, except Artuccio. He's pathetic. So far, what he's done is nothing while he was in the party, and uh, ran away runs from a fight. That's it. What can Pataxian spies hope to find in the stolen? Pataxian spies are much like magpies. They'll grab anything that catches their eye. Information, treasure, artifacts. This time, King Yerovetti had a chance to seize the entire Stolen Lands region, and at the Aldori's expense. I'll give you some advice for the future. Be wary of the Pataxian King. He's truly a snake of a man. Oh boy. Garrus is the name of a noble house in Bravoy, is it not? You're a noble then? Used to be. It's only a name now, nothing more. The House Garess are a noble family in Bravoy. They own several mines in the Galushkin Mountains. My father Evan is cousin to Lord Howland Garess, but he's my father no longer. That's so. In any case, I brought shame upon my name and was punished accordingly. The family disowned me. I fled to Restoff and took up the life of a simple mercenary, until I received an assignment here in the Stolen Lands. I, I have the feeling that you're gonna uh, join up. Care to tell me why you were exiled? You asked me a favor, I'd say you owe me an explanation. Fair enough. For a Garess, the prosperity of the house and the honor of the name stands above all else. And I... I was betrothed to a widow from another noble house. This union was of great importance to the family. However, three months before the wedding, I met a commoner girl. Gentle and pure, and we fell in love. I would have rather died than leave my Tanya. So I decided to break off the engagement with my noble bride. I could never have expected what would follow. My father was furious. I'd set a pointless love affair above the interests of the house. He expelled me from the family and ordered to leave our lands under threat of death. And Tanya... Her mother was seriously ill, 
and she stayed behind to care for her rather than follow me into exile. Thus, I was on my own, disgraced, without a name, and without love. Mm. Tough story, love it, boy. Don't imagine that I ask for pity. Everyone gets what they deserve. I see. I say you deserve the better fate, Kasten. True love should not be punished. I guess I could say that. Hope you regret the things you've done. Beauty should stand above motion. That's lame. Leave the past in the past. Think of it no more. I I would yeah, I can say that. <laughs> well, was the girl at least worth it? Ah, <laughs> uh, let's go with that. I would never have left her of my own accord. I would know more of the house grass in your homeland? I don't care. I'll see you later. Garrus. What? Aren't you guys gonna join me? Come on, lovely boy, I missed it clean. I need help! Fuck you guys. All this big talk about Tartuccio being the spy and how big of a problem he is. You just leave me. I just rest here. I still have the penalty. I don't want to fight the elf. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Can't select the location. Can put it somewhere, but... Come on. Oh. Or is it green? Okay, let's put it there. Wait, what? Do we need to build it? Let's begin resting. Um, uh, sure. I just wanna get rid of the penalty. You were attacked! <laughs> By what? Okay, we can deal with those. No more. I'm worse off than when I started resting. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yes! It would be nice. Let's begin resting again. What? Stop it, snakes! Snap time! So the game said that I probably should uh, try to you rest on the so map. Much. And always by yourself. Aren't you tired of doing the same lunges over and over again? How about we work together? Fine, why not? But it won't replace my practice. For me, the most important asset in battle is discipline, self-control, and iron will. Kind of boring. I like this uh, little chat they had. Okay. Oh. Okay, we are ready. To explore this entire area. Some loot there. Guys, are you coming? Giant frog! Oh, are you friendly? You right. help you. Oh crap, two of them! Strike is one. <laughs> Do not falter. Oh, I like that! Ever since I Wasteland 2, I'm, I'm very fearful of giant frogs. Uh, sure. Just some valuable stuff that we can sell. We do it my way. Hey, Doc. Can we go over here? Oh, we can go into the water. River. What's that? Ooh. Anything else? On 
words. What about over here? Not really. But this is a rather big area. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.